Hi guys, today I'll be sharing with you how to set up your Adidas performance watch. Basically, I will focus on two areas in this video. First, how to navigate to the different modes of the watch. Second, setting up the date and time. As you can see, there are four buttons on the sides of the watch. Two on the left and two on the right. The top left button has the word set or light printed on it while the bottom left button has the word mode. The top right button, which is the red in color, has the word start or stop, and the bottom right, lap or reset. You might want to remember these printed words on their location as I will be using them in the context of this video. To navigate to the different modes of the watch, press the mode button and it will take you through the different modes from the chrono, to the timer, the alarm, and the time. Each time you press the mode button, it takes you through the different modes. You might also notice that each time when a mode is selected, you will actually see a blink of the mode name before it's activated. And when the selected mode is left on idle for about 25 seconds, it will automatically resume to the default time screen mode. To set up the date and time, you will have to go through two different modes first, the light mode and the chime mode. I will show you as we go along. Now, if you are not already on the default time screen mode, press the mode button to go to the time mode. Once you are in the default time screen, press the set or light button and hold for about 3 seconds and you will see the light mode is activated with the blinking off on depending on your previous setting. This is the first mode that you will pass through before we will set up the date and time. If you wish to switch on or off the light for your watch, you can press either the start or stop button or the lab reset button to trigger the on off. Once that is done, press the mode button again. Now you will see the chime mode with the blinking on or off depending on your previous setting. To switch to either on or off, you can press the start or stop button or the lab reset button. This is the second mode that we have to go through before we set the time. Now press the mode button again and now you should be in the time mode with either the 12 hour or 24 hour blinking depending on your previous setting. And to switch between 12 hour or 24 hour, simply press the start or stop button or the lab reset button. To set the hour, press the mode button and adjust the blinking number by either pressing the start stop to increase the number or the let reset button to decrease the number. To set the minute, press the mode button and adjust the blinking number by either pressing the start stop to increase the number or the let reset button to decrease the number. To reset the seconds, Press the mode button and adjust the blinking number by either pressing the start stop or the reset button. Next, to set the year, press the mode button and adjust the blinking number by either pressing the start stop to increase the number or the lap reset button to decrease the number. To set the month and day, first we need to select the display format for the month and day. Press the mode button again and you will see the blinking day to month or month to day, depending on your previous setting. To switch to your preferred format, simply press either the start or stop or the lap reset button. Once that is done, we can set the month by pressing the mode and adjust the blinking number 
by either pressing the start stop to increase the number or the lap reset button to decrease the number. To set the day, press the mode button and the same thing, adjust the blinking number by either pressing the start stop to increase the number or the lap reset button to decrease the number. Once that is done, to return back to the default time screen, press the set like button. So that's it guys, hope this video has been helpful to you in setting up your Adidas performance watch. And thanks for watching, have a great day.